this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living and today I'm going to go through a couple quick tips and tricks on how to clean up your internet browser whether you're using Internet Explorer, Google Chrome or Firefox and we're just going to go through some some simple ways to just kind of clean things up make it run faster um, maybe you're getting some pop-ups or advertisements or maybe you're getting some uh, strange search results when you go to search for something online uh, so we're going to go through step by step on how to do that with those three three browsers which are the most common so to start off here with Internet Explorer, um, the first thing that you want to do to get your browser just kind of set back to a, a factory state and uh, back to its original configuration, this is going to clear out any junk that you may have gotten installed or picked up uh, um, by accident, is just go ahead over to the right hand side here where the settings button is, uh, actually this is the tools gear, and then go down to internet options. You also may have tools over here on this side, and you can go down to Internet Options here as well. So either way, you want to go to Internet Options. This box is going to come up here. You want to go over the top to the Advanced tab, and then down on the screen here you'll see a big Reset button. This is going to reset your browser settings back to their default state. So go ahead and click on that. Um, if you hit delete personal settings it's going to reset your search providers home pages and all that other good stuff I would recommend that you do that as well and this gets you right back to a clean slate let's go ahead and do that it's going to go through a couple steps here and have you close and it'll tell you you have to close the browser completely and then open it back up alright so now we're set back to our default uh, um, home page and everything, any of our toolbars are gone, any search providers that we had added are gone, so we're back to the way the browser came out of the box. So a couple things you might want to set back up um, would be your home page and also any um, particular menus that you may have wanted along the top here. So if you right click in this area across the top you can add your favorites bar back, that's one that I like to have, and also your men menu bar so now those are here and I'm also going to set my home page back to the simple suburban living blog so all you have to do to set your home page back is just go to whatever site you'd like to set as your home page to in our tools and then internet options and then go ahead and hit use current and this will get you set to whatever home whatever page you're on that'll set it back to your home page Okay, so while we're in your, our internet options here, the next thing you want to do is go over to Programs tab at the top. And you're going to hit this Manage Add-ons button. So you'll see a few things along the side here. Any toolbars and extensions should all be disabled. And under Search Providers, you may have a bunch of junk listed in here. I would recommend that you stick with Bing or Google or maybe Yahoo, one of those. AOL is fine. Um, if you have anything else under here, like any other strange uh, search results uh, or providers in here, I would just go ahead and click on those, and then down here, this Remove button. You want to remove those. And you also want to click on Bing or Google and hit Set as Default. That's going to set your search provider back to its default. And what that does for you is when you go, go ahead and hit OK to close that out. When you search up on your address bar up in the box here, that's uh, that's the search provider it uses. So if that's set to an advertisement search provider, you'll actually get a whole bunch of advertisements no matter what you search for. So that's uh, um, something that's important to clear up is those search providers. And that's really the basics. So um, I would recommend that you do that if you're having trouble with your with your with your browser, if you're getting advertisement pop-ups or it's running slow or anything like that. You go through, do that reset, and a little a little simple cleanup, and your browser is going to run a whole lot faster and a whole lot better. So next I'm going to close this out, and we're going to go down to Google Chrome. Okay, so once we have Chrome opened up here, so the first thing you're going to do to clean up Google Chrome is just go to your menu or settings button up here in the upper right hand corner, and then go down to settings. Okay, and this is where you can access pretty much everything that you need to get this one cleaned up. So first thing I always do is just down in our search providers again that you want this set to Google or Bing or Yahoo or one of those good uh, known search providers. So hit manage search engines and I would go ahead and go through this list and anything that you don't want in here I personally do not want AOL and I personally do not want Ask and I don't need Yahoo. I tend to stick with Bing or Google. 
So if you have any other search providers that are listed in here, go ahead and hit the little red, the little X on the uh, right hand side of that and delete it. And then I go ahead and change your default back to Google or Bing by just hovering over this area and clicking on make default. That'll change your default search provider. So once we're done here, go ahead and click done. Also under show home button, if you have that checked, you want to make sure that your home page is set to something that's not an advertisement. And here you can go ahead and change that to whatever you want by typing in a, a home page here. Just keep it simple. I'm going to set our home page to Google. Over here also, you want to make sure that on startup, your browser is not set to open a bunch of advertisement pages. So you can change this setting right here, set, set pages, open a specific page, and you can change that to whatever you'd like to set up. Okay, up at the top here under extensions on the upper left hand side, let's open a new section. Now in here you may have a lot of extensions listed, extensions for various things. The only things that you really want to keep in here would be your security software for extensions or if you have like any other password managers or anything else that you actually use and want to keep in here, you'll, you'll recognize that. Anything that you don't recognize in this list, you want to go ahead and hit the little trash can and get rid of that. So that will delete any extensions in here. A lot of advertisement programs and malicious software will get in here and add extensions to your browser and can goof things up. Okay, last thing that we do is going to go ahead and close this out. Go back over to your settings or menu button. And go down to About Google Chrome. And this is going to open up a, uh, an automatic update. Okay, so as soon as you open this up, it'll tell you whether you're up to date or not. You always want to use the latest version of the, of the browser because it's the most secure. So that if you open that up, it'll tell you it needs to update. It'll go ahead and automatically start updating as soon as you open up this help section. Okay. So that's the main things that you need to do to help to, to uh, clean up Google Chrome. Now, if there's still more problems with it, if you're getting an error when you launch or other issues, um, that will be covered in another video. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close down Google Chrome, and we're going to open up Firefox. Okay, very similar process with Firefox. So we're going to check our search providers, we're going to check any add-ons or extensions that we have installed here, and we're going to make sure we're up to date. So with Firefox, it's a little bit different depending on which version you're using. Using a new version up in the upper left-hand corner here, you can see a Firefox drop-down menu. If you click on that, you can click on add-ons over here. That's where we want to go. Okay, if you don't have this here, if you have an older version of Firefox, if you right-click on the blank area up at the top here, you can, you can add your menu bar. Once you add the menu bar, you have a tools, button, uh, tools menu here, and you can get to your add-ons that way. So we're going to go ahead and click add-ons. Now I just installed this browser to, to do this uh, tutorial, so I don't have any add-ons in here. What you want to do is go down to this extension section, and it, you'll have, again, if you have any advertisement or malicious software extensions, they're going to be listed here. So you want to go ahead and remove or delete each one of those. There'll be a remove button along the right hand side of each of those. Anything you don't recognize, go ahead and remove it. There's no need to have anything in here besides your security software or any extensions that you, you actively have downloaded or are using with Firefox. Same with plugins. Now there's some default plugins that you may see here. Adobe, Google, Java, those things are pretty normal. Microsoft, um, Silverlight, those are um, add-ins and extensions or plugins that you do need um, to use a lot of different web pages and things such as YouTube for instance. However, you want to look through this list and if you have anything that's out of the ordinary or that you that says like uh, uh, some type of updater or advertisement or um, other things like that, you can pick those out and you can go ahead over to the right hand side and you can drop this down to never activate. That'll make sure that those do not activate when you load your browser. Okay, so once you have that cleaned up, we'll go ahead and just close that tab out. Now back at your main screen here, you've got your search box. This should be set to Google or Bing or Yahoo or one of those again. But if it's not, you'll see it listed here. It may say conduit or some other kind of search advertisement. You want to click on the little drop down arrow next to the icon and go to manage search engines. In this list again, you just you only really want to stick with Google, Yahoo, or Bing for your for your search. Some people like AOL, that's fine too. Um, these are all trustworthy sites. They come along with Firefox, but they do give you advertisement search results. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Highlight the one you want to get rid of. Click Remove. eBay, Twitter, Wikipedia. 
Those are all fine to have, but in my case, I don't want to have those there. You may see a lot of advertisement ones in here as well. You want to remove all those. Pick whichever one you want to set as your default, highlight it, and then move it up to the top of the list here. Say move up, move up. So the one is one is at the top is going to be your default search provider. Go ahead and click OK to close that window. Okay, so the last thing that you want to do to make sure Firefox is cleaned up um, is uh, go ahead and make sure it's up to date. And if you hit your help button and you go to about Firefox, Firefox is the same as Google Chrome. It will automatically start an update when you get to this about tab here, this window. It'll automatically start updating and downloading an update for you. Firefox 28 at this time is the latest version, so we're all up to date. We don't need to do anything else. The only other thing you may want to do is if your Firefox homepage has changed, you can go down to tool or up to the tools menu, down to options. And right here will be written your home page. You can use the current page that you're on. You can type in an address, restore it to the default, which is where it's at right now, and then hit OK. At that point, you should have a clean working browser, and you shouldn't have any add-ons, extensions, pop-ups, or advertisements, or other things. Now lastly, and this will affect all of your browsers, you want to just do a really quick check in your add and remove programs list to make sure you don't have any advertisement add-ons listed there. And so in Windows 8, you're going to hit the Windows key, and then go ahead and type the word programs. And you're going to see a, a list in the search pop up, say programs and features. You want to select that. So you want to look through your programs and features list. Okay, now I have some pretty basic stuff in here. But if you go down this list and you see anything that looks like an advertisement, that you know is an advertisement, and you may have a lot of them listed here, you can go ahead through and, and remove those. Those also oftentimes can also cause pop-ups and other things to slow down. So I'd recommend that you just kind of browse through your programs list, look for anything that says toolbar, uh, search, uh, anything that's that's promising to optimize your browser or, or browser speeder uppers or um, other cleanup programs and things like that. Go ahead and clean, you know, uh, delete or remove any of those products. Once that's done, you should have a clean, fast browser without any advertisement pop-ups or any slowdowns or any other problems. If you still have or are having problems with your browser, or you're still getting advertisement pop-ups, or still other problems, then you probably have some type of malicious software on your computer, and I'll cover how to clean that up in another tutorial. So that's, to recap, that's a some quick tips and tricks on how to clean up an Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or Firefox browsers. Hopefully that helped you out. And if you have any questions, please throw them in the comment section. I do monitor the channel and can answer those for you. And hopefully this found you well. Thank you for watching and have a good one.